on June 21st, 2008, an interesting file was uploaded to Uploader.jp, a free file storage and sharing website. The file was a spreadsheet that appeared to come from the animation studio Bones. The spreadsheet had eight columns. Name, telephone, cell phone, remarks, rank, A, B, C, and X, status, etc., and address. In total, the personal information of 476 animators and directors was made available to anyone with the right link. If having your phone number and address made public wasn't enough, people would also see where you ranked amongst your peers, and the remarks section wasn't exactly kind. People were labeled everything from slow writer and won't answer phone calls to rough and useless and cancer of the company. While this would have been a story regardless, there were two notes that would make the spreadsheet irresistible to anime fans. Next to Yasuhiro Ire, an episode director on 2003's Full Metal Alchemist, was a short note, Hagane 2 Kantoku, or Full Metal 2 Director. And next to Tensai Okamura, the director of Darker Than Black was Darker 2 Junbiju, or Preparing for Darker 2. While some people did manage to find it, news about the leak wouldn't make headlines until July 6th, when the studio's president, Masahiko Minami, released a statement. In it, he stated that the spreadsheet did not come from Bones, and accused a third party of releasing this fake document in order to damage the studio's reputation. Regarding the matter of an Excel file containing personal information of our staff, our internal investigation has confirmed that there is no information managed in a similar format within our company, and that the file does not contain any leaked internal management information. Therefore, we have determined that the descriptions of staff attributes in the file are not internal company data, but were created and published by a third party for the purpose of slander and libel. We are currently conducting an investigation to identify the offender. As soon as we're able to identify the offender, we plan to take strict action. The conversation among anime fans was primarily about whether or not these two shows even needed sequels, and it appears as if most people were operating under the assumption that the document was fake. And in a follow-up interview with Anime News Network, Minami stated that the studio hadn't made the decision to greenlight sequels for Full Metal Alchemist or Darker Than Black. It hasn't been decided yet. We are interested in doing them. As original science fiction works, they were extremely fascinating. With these kinds of dramatic storylines, I feel that there's a lot we could do potentially. But not everyone bought Bones' explanation. The writer of the Moonphase blog had heard rumors about a new Full Metal Alchemist project a while ago, the Bones leaked file. They just announced that that was not an asset under their control, but they didn't mention the authenticity of the contents. It seems that the personal information was correct. I received a tip a few months ago. Full Metal Alchemist's original story version, which was a tentative title, was scheduled to be officially announced at the end of this year and would be launched in a big way. I've been looking for a good time to post it in this column, but I never thought it would be confirmed in such a way. The most notable skeptic was acclaimed director Satoshi Kon. He not only thought that this kind of list wouldn't be surprising to see at a studio, but that it would be ridiculous to think that it didn't come from within Bones. As a person in the industry, the existence of such a list is not surprising at all, but it is unacceptable to include information such as so-and-so's girlfriend, so-and-so's ex-boyfriend, or he is dating so-and-so-san, regardless of the technical ability of the animator. A list like this should never be leaked, but anyone with a modicum of imagination nowadays would know that it is impossible for such a list not to be leaked. It is not a memo for the individual who made it, but a list to be shared with other people. So the risk of leakage is high from the outset. In other words, it was bound to leak out. The response to the production company that is said to be the source of the leak also makes me tilt my head back. They say that it was a malicious act that defamed our company. What? Who would have the time to make such a detailed list outside of work? Whatever one may think of it, it must be internal information from the production department. The we have confirmed there is no information managed in a similar format and that the internal files were not leaked is... Come on. That's not even a basis for anything. That kind of narrative would not be convincing even in the animation that we produce. You might want to think a little more about your response, Mr. B. Oh, by the way, these initials are not B in the ABC rank of production companies, just to be clear. Bones decided to work with the Association of Japanese Animators, or AJA, an organization formed by various animation studios, and the Japanese Animation Creators Association, or JANICA, a labor organization for directors and animators. And both of them would release statements shortly after the Bones announcement. On July 11th, JANICA published a press release. They began working with Bones on July 8th, and would serve as a third-party reviewer of their internal investigation. While the file could no longer be viewed from the original source, the information was still out there. People had downloaded the spreadsheet, blurred out the names and addresses, and re-uploaded it. They reached out to various websites hosting the file and asked them to remove it. According to Janica, it is still possible to identify individual animators and directors, and some of the leaked information contains defamatory statements against the animators and directors concerned. We also request that the operators of news sites that regularly support Japanese animation, as well as those who have leaked this information or know its location, its URL, take action to delete the leaked information and its links, and to stop distributing it. Things went quiet for a while, since there were no updates on Bones' investigation. Until the second half of August came around, and a new Full Metal Alchemist anime was revealed on the Obi of the Manga's 20th volume. This briefly brought the Bones leak back into the conversation, but that wouldn't last very long. People appeared to have forgotten all about it by the time Bones released the results of their investigation to the public on November 18th. According to their report, 
The file was not created within the studio and was uploaded from another location. Bones would end up paying the victims an inconvenience fee and offered to help them with the cost of changing their contact information. Going forward, they would implement stronger information management controls and develop a confidentiality pledge for their employees. They still believe that the file was uploaded by a third party with malicious intent. While they think that it's highly likely that someone associated with the company was involved, they weren't able to determine who actually did it. And since it's been more than 10 years since this story received an update, I think it's safe to assume that whoever was responsible has gotten away with it. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe if you'd like to be notified whenever I release something new. Were any of you following this story back in 2008? It also looks like there were similar leaks from other studios around the same time. If any stories come to mind, please let me know in the comments. Once again, thank you all for watching. Until next time.